Good morning, friends. Goodness gracious, this is like the third time that I have filmed this video. I did it twice yesterday, and I have been having such a hard time getting this uploaded onto YouTube. So I'm going to try again this morning. Try to make the video shorter to see if maybe that was the problem. Get some natural light going on in here. But welcome to my spring and Easter home tour. Just gonna start here, kind of at a angle here in the dining room. And here is kind of an overview of dining room and kitchen. Oops, I forgot to take the trash can down. I always try to hide that from you guys. But I have to keep it up on that big stool there to keep Gracie out of the trash can. Big dogs can reach up high. <laughs> it is a nice sunny looking spring day here in Virginia. And this is what the built-ins look like back here. I've been watching a bit of um, French country videos and I'm really kind of liking that. So I'm kind of been um, doing a little, a little more of that look, if you would say this is French country. This was a box that I had, a wood box, and I added the little wood ball feet and the little um, wooden rose embellishment on it. I think it turned out really pretty. I have um, quite a number of the red transfer wear dishes that I have started to put out on display more. I used them for many, many years and then I took a break from them because I really started liking the farmhouse look so I put them away but now I'm pulling them back out and using them. I like this little moss bunny right here. And of course the bird on the stool with the berries. And this is gonna, might get a little difficult here because of the sun coming in the window. But this um, arrangement of the pinks and purples and cream colored flowers is really pretty. That ribbon there Real springy looking. I came from um, Hobby Lobby. I lucked out and found this plate at a thrift store here uh, a couple months ago. So pretty. I was so excited. Again, I'm hoping this looks a little French country. This is that plastic um, looking chocolate bunny. My husband grabbed it last year and was about to take a bite out of it. I'm like, no, honey, that is not real. <laughs> anyway, this little print here, some bunny loves you, so sweet. <clears throat> sign a couple years ago. It's not about the bunny, it's about the lamb. And so that is the built-ins. This here is the same with the lemons, except for I added the really pretty, very dainty handkerchief hanging off the edge. Target dollar spot gold bunnies. Again, on the other side of the hutch. That 
that dish right there, the white dish, was my grandmother's. And those silver cups were my baby cups and my baby spoon. And those other bowls there were from my grandmother or her, my great aunt, which is her sister. Everything out there looks the same as I kind of always have it, except for I did have that little lamp up there. And I added some ranoculas here in this crock. And right here in this little thing where I have my cookbooks. These are little pom-pom bunnies I made a long time ago. A bird nest. This was a stick from my yard that was shaped really well, so I brought it in and stuck it in this large crock with the greenery in it and added the Easter eggs. So that looks really cute there. Panning over here to this side. These eggs are new this year from Hobby Lobby. That's kind of the same there. And this print up here, I love this print, if you can see it. Or the glare. It says, Today I Choose Joy. With the carrots forming the Y and the wreath in the center and the little rain boots. And I got that from Jane.com. Um, I have a lot of really cute prints that I got from Jane.com, but I see now that they are no longer in business online. And this is how these look. I love how the little eggs and the carrots look in the jar. In this jar and then this one up here is just Spanish moss and carrots and the little family little birdies on top of the family and then here I just added a couple of eggs didn't change anything else Target Dollar Spot um, tulips. On the back of my stove, I just added one little bunny. And then this corner over here, I added the lamp. Let me turn the lamp on. You gotta move all the stuff to get to the cord back here. I started. I like how the lamp just kind of really illuminates that corner. But here I just have some florals in this crock that I found at a thrift store this year. And this is a little cloche thing I made years ago. I glued the little bunny thing. I got it from either the dollar store or Walmart years ago and glued it on top of that, on the bottom of that little bowl, the glass bowl from the dollar store, and set it on that plate. Another one of those little pom-pom bunnies I did. Okay, 
up on top of my refrigerator. A good change. I used to have two of these baskets that match. One said meds, one said breads, but we are not no longer really eating a lot of the bread, so I took that down and made a space for more decor, which is awesome, right? <laughs> um, this cute little bunnies, they came from Home Sense this year, and this embellishment piece up there, that, that one, that came from Dollar General for like $12. really changed didn't do anything really springy up there this here is all the same too in this corner here my two-tier tray that is um, springy and Eastery with the little bunnies and the carrots and the eggs I always like how these little little carrots look inside this little small painted clay pot with the little Spanish moss in there. It always looks really, really cute. And this little bunny, he's always, he, to me, he's saying his blessing, giving thanks before he eats his carrot. He's praying. This other bunny with the wild, crazy ears came from TJ Maxx a number of years ago. But this is a cute corner. And Right here, I have just some pink flowers and another one of these little cute creamers, a little bowl of eggs, and this little stack of hens. I got this really pretty um, silver tray um, at a thrift store this year, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll paint it white and really bring out all these beautiful details in the silver, but I haven't done anything yet, so we'll see. Right here on my island, I have this really cute, um, I call her Emma, Emma the Entrepreneur, because she's trying to s sell her carrots for five cents. She's trying to make a little money. So, all right, so now we're gonna go into the entryway. I'm trying to avoid getting myself in the mirror here because I just got up a little while ago and it is not a pretty picture right now. This wood scroll piece is new. I just, um, I drew that and my dad cut it out for me. I think it looks really pretty here. And the tulips are so pretty. The bunny and the dough bowl and this birdhouse. This black bird cage is new here. I moved it from a different location. It's not new. And the bottom shelf down here. In here, I, in this large crock, I have stuck some stems and a little bunny on a stool. So when you come in, you're greeted with some really cute things, too. Like over here on this side. I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. And then up my wall here is... This up here. Pink flowers. And now we're going to come into the living room. I changed out my curtains yesterday. Took the black, um, kind of primitive check down and put up that. It's an off white background with um, like a tan, kind of almost like a twall type of print inside. Really pretty. Kind of reminds me of a French country look, I guess. Not that I know a whole lot about French country, but um, I'm liking the decor.
This is my corner shelf. These um, bunny plates came from Hobby Lobby this year. And this is the top of it. Okay, so now we're going to go over to here. Uh, using this dark pink, ma uh, whatever you color you call that, that dark color in combination with some pinks, flowers this, this summer. Those are going to be my color scheme. I like how this little birdhouse looks in this cloche with the little nest, um, bird's nest. I did that last year. I had seen that on Pinterest and I really liked it. Some new prints that I've gotten with that same color scheme. And the little English countryside kind of looking print, cottage looking print. And my mantle is kind of wild and crazy, but I saw this inspiration on Pinterest and tried to copy it somewhat. Um, um, these used to be red and I painted them um, this beigey color and added that little um, wooden embellishment piece on it just for a little extra decoration. These cute little pink plates came from um, Home Goods. This really pretty um, picture here came from um, Hobby Lobby this year. My daughter gave me a Hobby Lobby, no, no, she gave me money for um, my birthday and I used that money for that. And it, um, I wanted it to look like this vine was growing up out of this picture, this bouquet thing, and then wrapping itself around this window piece. And um, my little set of bunnies I've had here for I've had for a while. I just saw that. I think it looks really pretty and it's very different. You know, I try to do something. Whoops, Gracie's toy. <laughs> um, do something different every year. That's what it looks like. And I love, love how the, the, the brick looks painted white. Everything, all the colors just show up so pretty against it. And this, um, these florals were from Michaels, and this little girl here, she was from Home Sense this year. Dollar Store carrots, and in the fireplace, I put the basket, and there's fairy lights on that, and they uh, come on at nighttime, and it looks really, really cute. And this is the 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 bunny from Michaels, and I just changed out the ribbon around her neck and put it pink. And this cloth <clears throat> and the the um, vine um, um, wreath thing that's that um, thing is sitting in is from um, Amazon. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't think of what it was called. And my coffee table, I have this round basket on it with some eggs and some carrots with the greenery all around and underneath I have this basket tray with the carrots in it and some greenery and that is a little different from what I've always done before in my TV stand I've got this bunny here in this basket with greenery and she's got some fairy lights too because that's a kind of dark spot at nighttime and the fairy lights help to light it up and the shelf I love how the shelf looks again new prints this corner here the only thing different is the new print there all those prints are from Etsy. And then this corner here, sweet little family of bunnies. And the carrot here in the, now I need to change out all the 
get rid of all the black and white check in here. I'm thinking I might do like some kind of a burlap ribbon to hang the pictures from. And I moved this chair over to this little corner here and I added this little wood rose embellishment piece on it. And I love to decorate this um, cloche, this wire cloche thing um, for each season. And this is how I did this one this time for spring with the little bunnies in it and the, the carrots. Those are some carrots that I made. So their little sign says homegrown carrots. I thought that looks really cute sitting there on that. And I think I'm gonna paint the chair white because this color here is kind of got a, um, a yellowish background tint to it. So I think I'm gonna paint it a different color. And I have a pink pillow here with a cream colored blanket. And then this corner here, this little basket, this little girlie sitting in this basket here. Looks so cute with her carrots and everything. She's just sitting up there. And this here is all still the same, except for the new prints. I got to match the color scheme for the summer. Again, all from Etsy. Another look at the fireplace. I'm gonna back out this way. Gracie's toy duck there. The black lab she's still in there sleeping this morning lazy girl yeah I think it really looks cute there with the um, the baskets and in there inside the grates really. anyway I hope everybody has a wonderful day happy Easter Jesus is risen thank you for watching